Hey everybody, I'm Jordan and I'm here today with Clayton Family Kitchen. Today I'll be making plum tarts for you. The ingredients you'll need are one cup of sugar, one cup of water, almond slivers, honey, sugar in the raw, cream cheese, one egg, a lemon, some fresh plums, and puff pastry sheets. To start out with, we want to um, let our puff pastry sheets defrost a little bit. I let mine out for about 40 minutes and then I unfolded them, so here they are. Um, we're going to spread cream cheese on one of them. I'm lactose intolerant, so I get the non-cream cheese one. I'll just put a thin layer down. And you can put more or less cream cheese on there, just depending on how much you like the flavor of it. And you want to leave about two inches on each outer edge so you can fold the pastry over later. All right. Now for both pastries, what we're going to do is sprinkle some almond slivers in the middle. And you can put as many or as few of these that you want in there. Right. Now we'll take our sugar in the roll. And this is just um, cane sugar. It's a brown color and it's kind of thick. And just kind of sprinkle it on top. And these are really just for extra crunch and flavor on the bottom of the part. We'll get to cutting our plums. Now these have a big seed in the middle, so you really just want to open them in half and take the seed out, and then just kind of do little slices. You want to make them pretty thin because they're going to be um, layered on the tart. You know, I really love to use my resources when I cook, so these tarts can pretty much be made with any fruit. I just happen to have plums in my kitchen that were about to go bad, so that's why we're having plum tarts today. And you do want to make sure that your plums are pretty ripe. They'll be darker purple on the outside because the, um, the ones that aren't as ripe have more water in them and they'll kind of make your, plum, your tart a little bit watery. All right, so I got a bunch of plums cut up in little slices, and now we're just gonna lay them out in a pretty little pattern on the um, puff pastry. And you can do this however you want to. I'm just gonna lay them side by side. And this will be a little time consuming, so it's worth it though. And again, leave about an inch and a half or two inches around the edges so you can fold them over. All right, so all of the plums are on there and we're just gonna fold over the pastry. Kind of make a little pocket for it, almost. And just kind of push it down with your fingers. I'll do this other one really quick and then we'll get going on our next step. All right, so I finished my other tart and I've transferred them onto this baking sheet. You'll want to um, lightly spray your baking sheet with a pan or vegetable oil. And then we're about to do an egg wash. So we'll just take one egg, crack it open here. 
gonna take your whisk and just kind of whisk it around really good. All right, now I'll take a basting brush. You can just use any little silicone brush and just dip it in there and lightly put it on top of the outside edges. And this will just kind of leave it shiny and brown for you while you bake it and make it look pretty. And you can also do this with melted butter, butter if you don't have any eggs or if you just rather do butter. Now before we put it in the oven, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit more of the sugar in the roll on the outer edges, just to get that little crunch. All right. Now you wanna preheat your oven to about 400 or 425. And these will bake for about 30 minutes or until it's just light and fluffy. And you'll definitely be able to tell it's done. <laughs> now while those are baking, we're gonna make a simple syrup with a lemon zest to drizzle on top when they're done. So you'll need half a cup of water, Up the sugar. Simple syrup is really just one part water, one part sugar. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of honey just for the flavor. So, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. There we go. Make it a little bit more rich. Now we take our lemon. I'm just gonna zest a little bit in there. Sometimes you have to scrape it off the bottom. You wanna do just enough just to give it the light flavor so you don't have to do the whole lemon. Okay. Now we'll take this over to the stove top and bring it to a boil. Okay, so we're gonna turn the eye on high and we're just gonna bring this mixture to a boil and stir it up a little bit. Basically, this is just gonna form a syrup that we're gonna um, drizzle on top of our pastries when they're done. All right, so we're about to boil and we're just gonna let it boil for a little while. Um, usually it starts to look like syrup after it starts to cool down a little bit. Okay, so now we're just gonna let the syrup finish cooling and let the pastries finish baking and we'll be ready. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Our simple syrup is cooled into a nice um, thick liquid. It's still pretty watery, it's supposed to be like that. And we'll just drizzle it with a spoon. We're gonna pull our pastries out. All right. I just love puff pastry because it always turns out so pretty. Um, you can see it's just puffed up, just like it says. And what we're gonna do, just take our simple syrup. I'm just gonna just a little, little bit over the top. Ooh. And we're ready. Well, thank you for watching today.
Bye. 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 Bye.